Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the mod review for May 17th of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, sorry it has been a while. I took last week off, basically off from making any content, but it's because it was so busy with work. But uh, anyhow, without further ado, let's try to get jump back into our regular schedule here. So um, as always, down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to jump ahead to any mod you're looking for. And we are, of course, going to start with the updates for today. So only a few updates. We had updates to the vehicle maintenance by Frevitz. Uh, that change log was too long to fit on the screen. Then there was an update to the modern cow stable by Farmer5Tom. An update to the i4 Williams TT3621 by Euro Agri Modding. Then an update to the Polish seeds by uh, Wolchik. I'm not even trying to pronounce it. Anyhow, continuing on. And our final update was to the TLX 48 foot tanker trailer by 82 Studio. Uh, so there you go. Let's go ahead and jump into our new mods for today. First up, we have the TLX Phoenix Semi by 82 Studio. This is 41.42 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. Um, I am going to miss something on this because this thing is awesome. So uh, <laughs> anyhow, um, I don't think there's, there's no, there shouldn't be any attachments. I believe it's just the semi truck itself. Um, and this, yep, it looks like, okay, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. So um, in the store, this is going to be found under vehicles, under trucks. Down here, we have the CMS and the D60. As far as I know, the only difference should be the sound of the engine. So I have the D60 out, but we'll take a look at the CMS and I'll see if I notice any differences. So you can adjust room color to anything on there. We'll do yellow for that. Main color can be red and then design color will do uh, green just so it stands out when we get there. So uh, down here, configurations, you can have standard. You can have extension one. You can have extension one sleeper, extension one sleeper, and the thing, I can't think of what it's called right now, extension two with a sleeper, with the thing, <laughs> I don't, can't think of that, you have heavy haul, uh, with sleeper, everything going on, and then 82 studio, I don't, I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else I'm missing on them, either, because again, I'm, I am going to miss them, and then back to standard, but I am going to miss some things, now wheel brand, you have phoenix, you have uh, white decals, Black decals, chrome decals, white decal spikes, black decal spikes, chrome decal spikes, back to white decals under TLX. You have standard, black center cap, heavy duty, knock in, knock in HD, standard. Yep, back to standard, right? Yep, okay. Then under lug covers, you have long nuts, long nuts blacked, long nuts, long nuts blacked. Okay, yeah, so those are the only two options under there. There's so many options, as always, with these ones. Spike covers, you have spikes, spikes blacked. And then back to spikes and then agro tires and then back to phoenix decals you have standard you have wyoming cowboy you can see it adds a little cowboy on there you have houston one houston two houston three standard so those are your options on that one now if we go down visors and mirrors i'm going to miss some here uh standard stock fender mirrors uh stock hood mirrors drop visor with the fender mirrors and bow tie, both mirror options. Then you have the drop visor painted, both options. Bow tie painted, both options with the mirrors. And then back to standard mud guards. You have uh, black. You have white. I love the Phoenix logo and everything. Uh, full one, full two, split, half fender, full one painted, full two painted, split painted. Half fender painted, black, white, and I think that's everything there. So yeah, we've been through all of them. Okay, bumpers. You have stock. You have uh, stock with wide markers, custom, custom with wide markers, uh, Aussie bumper, Aussie bumper with uh, the bull guard, and back to stock lighting of standard, side markers, uh, white underglow, blue underglow, green underglow, orange underglow. Purple underglow, red underglow, <laughs> side makers. Uh, there are tons of options in here. I think I just went back to this one. Red underglow, side markers. There'll be a few things going on there. Um, okay. Extras, you have standard. Rack with work lights. Rack with emergency bar. Uh, rack with all lights. Forestry rack. I think I went with the rack with all lights on mine. Uh, standard capacity. Side steps. So let's take a look here. Now side steps. Capacity one that put it up from 340 to 440. Capacity two up to 640. Then back down to 340 for standard. 
Exhaust, here we go. These are good, kind of cool. Uh, so we have stock, straight, straight with flappers, straight angled, stacks, stacks high, angled, angled 30, angled 45, angled 70, angled high, angled 30 high, angled 45 high, 70 high, <laughs> twin stacks. And I believe it just goes through all of them um, with the... Yeah, with double. I think I went with uh, these ones right here. Those <laughs> are just so ridiculous. I love it. So anyhow, fantastic. Okay, let's hop out of there. I think that's everything for that. So let's take a look. This thing looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I, I'm sure I probably missed some configuration options on there. But this thing looks awesome. Start that baby up. The Phil's exhaust is great. Jake break on there. Lights. One. Look at the Phoenix logo lit, lit up in there. Oop, I don't want to crash into the other trucks. One. Two. Let me turn down your guys' vinyl a little bit for it. Just because we've heard the engine now. All right, three, four, off. So yeah, so all the way on, you can see all the different lights, the underglow. I mean, this thing just looks legit. Let's go ahead and just take a look at it real quick at night. I mean, just look at this beast of a truck. And if you don't want the rear lights on, you can get up to about that point. That is just incredible. Okay, sorry, I'll go back to daytime now. Now, if we open up the help menu here, left mouse button, let's see what that's doing here. You can see it's sliding the saddle back and forth, up and down. What is that doing? Let's see it has an option for up and down. And again, I'm gonna miss stuff, I apologize. I'm not seeing what it's doing on that one. Obviously, that's the saddle. Uh, let's do right mouse button, up and down. It could be any number of things that are working right now that I'm just not seeing. Um, let's do both mouse buttons. I decide I'm not seeing anything. Love the animation on the door. Inside the cab. Can't see back into the sleeper. Because the door should be probably on the outside, isn't it? These guys? Yeah, right there. But, fantastic truck. Oh gosh, it looks great. I don't think I missed anything on the help menu. Oh, see, X to open the doors. X to close them, I think that's all I see on there. Oh, I'm sure, you, I'm sure I missed something. Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, this thing is fantastic. Oh, I love it. <laughs> anything by uh, 82 Studios is gonna be pretty great. I mean, it does look pretty long in this configuration, but you don't have to get it in this long of a configuration, but... Oh, that is fantastic. Well, there you guys go. That is the TLX Phoenix. Next up, we have the Camaz. This is by Volga FS and Kavish. This is 37.08 megabytes to download, and this is for PC and Mac players only. These guys are found in the store under trucks, so you can find both the truck options in here. So you have the track and the tank trucks. The tank truck, is again, just has a tank on the back of it, so... Um, Oh, did I even talk about the, uh, sorry, TLX, the, the horsepower on it? With the engine configuration down at the bottom. Um, you can have, I'm sure I might have even missed stuff in here. Uh, this <laughs> TLX T9, 485, 585, 650, 1100. So anyhow, let's go back over to these guys here. Okay, so the Camas track, uh, 260 horsepower, 250 liters of fuel, runs at 59 miles per hour. And if we go into here, again, it is, it just has a saddle on the back for you to use. Um, if we go in here, we can adjust the main color, or anything on there, and the room color, or anything on there. Now down here, design standard, design one, design two, design three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And back to standard design here, hydraulic tank. You can see it adds that guy on the back there. Dangerous cargo, oversized cargo, spoiler. Back to standard, rubber for 260. Rubber for 280, 280 disc euro, euro open cap, rubber for 260. So 
and then engine size of 74010 is 210 horsepower then the 74020 is 240 and 260 and then back down to 210 so there you go this one has the same configuration options essentially or at least a lot of the same ones on here i guess it doesn't have all those but all the designs you should be able to go up through yeah the designs are the same for 260 that should all be that looks like it's the same than that engine configurations uh design color you can adjust the tank color oh that was something different so it looks a little bit different um but there you go holds 8,000 liters and what does this thing hold i look at that it just holds some fuel it looks like um and we'll we'll double check that here in a second now in addition to that if we actually go into brands it's easier under here under camas um we can see we have some trailers for the other one so we have an eighteen thousand dollar um up to thirty six thousand liter capacity so we can go timber carrier low loader uh thirty six thousand twenty four and twelve so depending on what you want for that design design two so got a couple different options there for 260 and again you got some different uh wheel options there design color you can change up room color you can also change up if you'd like to as well uh fuel tank so i guess yeah probably just fuel on the other one as well Fifteen thousand liters of fuel standard design one design nope just design one and then you have the different rubber options there again you can change the colors and then if we go over here the container for semi-trailer i'm not sure 100 percent the uh well let's reboot it semi-trailer containing chassis for transporting 20 foot containers i guess that does make sense but you i guess you'd have to have the container form as well but anyhow maybe there's some another mod that i'm not thinking of but yeah design one other than that that's it room color you can adjust if you'd like to but there you go that is all the camas options there and we'll double check this 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 guy right here to make sure yep just diesel so actually sorry i guess i have two fill units yep both of them are filled with air as well looks great beacons horn and that's quite the horn it's a little bit different lights one two three you one two i think just one two yeah one two then three's off looks good though we hop on the other guy here i believe the cabs are pretty much the same but oop i actually hopped out of it everything looks good let's fill up that trailer or something put weed in the back there that is a lot i feel like for this this truck but yeah yeah you can tell you can it feels heavy oh yeah <laughs> i can't remember if that actually has i don't think that has the bigger engine though so uh to be fair with it but yeah there you go that is the cameras next up we have the miglia vaca tt 100 l uh by restal core tori pazzi 3.65 megabytes to download this is for pc and mac players only found in the store if we go under trailers under low loaders right here twenty five thousand buy we open up in here there's no customization you get what you get and you don't even get to see it i guess that's kind of strange yeah it's weird anyhow hop in here open up the help menu left mouse button tilts it so you can tilt it back and forth there um other than that i think that's everything yeah good nice it's a nice looking little low loader to be honest i really like to look at this so uh yeah there you go that is the miglia vaca tt 100l next up we have the beard ziki uh p3292 by um kopi this is 9.25 megabytes to download this is for pc and mac players only we go in the store this is found under scroll over here crop protection Right here, the P2392, 5200 to buy, 400 liters of herbicide and fertilizer required, 12 meter working width, six miles per hour as a working speed. You can adjust the design color to anything on there and the main color to any one of those reds on there. Cover yes or no, and it's the hydraulic cover you can see on there. So uh, there you go, up out. X to unfold it. Open up the help menu there. Once unfolded, B to turn it on. There it goes. Now B to turn it on after it actually thinks it's unfolded. Six miles an hour, so it doesn't go too fast, but it doesn't seem to burn through the fertilizer spray too fast. Um, but there you go. That is the Beard Ziki uh, P329. Next up, we have the Bell Fork with three point hitch. This is by RL Modding FSI Group. This is 1.01 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. This is found in the store under Bailing Technology down at the very end. So, pretty nifty little thing here uh bail fork with three point hitch eight thousand dollars to buy 
Now it does claim to be able to hold four bales at once, which I think you probably should be able to do it with that pretty easily. Um, new case, John Deere, Fent New, Fent Old, a New Holland 1, New Holland 2, Gloss, JCB, JCB2, and then back to standard. So quite a few options on there, which is pretty cool. Now if we take a look at it here, I'm not gonna actually get any bales out or anything, so I don't think it's necessary. Um, v to lower down, V to raise it back up. Right mouse button will lift and independently operate that one. So once that one's got bales on it, we lower it down, we're able to back into some bales and whatnot. Then you can get that one up and theoretically out of the way. And then you can start working on trying to get bales with the other one. I gotta go up further there for you. Yeah, so lots of different little, you can tweak it pretty much however you want it, but yeah, there you go. Pretty cool little guy. Um, and then right off the back of this one, actually, I'm going to talk about the next mod, which is a Stoll Bale Stacker H. This is by someone else. This is by Equip Modding. This is 2.43 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. This is going to be found under front loaders at the very end, I believe. Yep, right here, the Bale Stacker H. So it's just an extension. We've seen these kind of before where you have this on the end of your front loader and you can use that to pick up bales and lift them up a little higher and do whatever you need to with them and you can adjust the color however you want. So yeah, just wanted to mention that one. Didn't think it needed to be brought out and showed, but uh, there you go. That was the Stoll Bale Stacker H and the Bale Fork. Next up, we have the Metz Joe uh, Meta Q751360 Multa. Uh, this is by Oscar8599 Pixel Farm and CG Johannanin. This is 41.05 megabytes to download. PC and Mac players only. Um, there's a few things with this that are found in here. So the first option you have under trailers, at the very end, you have this guy, which is a, just kind of an expensive 52,000 liter trailer that'll hold all these crop types. Now, if we go to loading wagons, we have another one, the one I have out in front of us here, uh, the Majesto Meta Q, 290,000 to buy 240 horsepower. This will kind of lie to do what a forage wagon would do. It doesn't list any crop types, so I believe it's, just, it's the same as um, their stuff. So this is kind of its own attachment on there. Um, and you can go through, they have a couple different options in here we'll take a look at. This is for all of them under uh, Redestein. They have the flotation, uh, flotation PRO on the back to flotation. Then under BKT, you have the FL693s and the FLs. Um, oh, no, and the 630s. Yeah, and the 630s. 630s are different. Uh, no, yes on that. I'm not sure what that is. To be completely honest with you. Oh, just the warning triangle. Side markers, yes, no. Bottom position, yes, no. Where is that at? Oh, you can see the lights along the side there. Work light, yes. Oh, that adds a work light over there. Yeah, a couple different options in there for you to adjust it however you'd like to. And then there's also under, gosh, is it under miscellaneous? No, where was it at? Where was that one at? The uh, attacher for it. I saw it somewhere under dollies. Let's try to go, uh, what, what brand are these here actually? Let's go under loading wagons again. Are they under, yeah, let's go into that brand. This guy right here. I don't know where I found that before, but uh, you also can buy the multi by itself and then attach it to this. So if you bought this, then you can buy this to attach to that. You can buy it as a kit. And in order to move that, you're gonna need this guy right here. So we'll walk through all that stuff out here. So I have the attacher here with the, the setup, and then I have the little trailer basically attachment there. So first we have this, if you look up the upper left-hand corner, you can see there are two separate things up there. But if we lower this down, hit V to lower it down. Anything else in there? O to put the pipe out. B to turn it on. And it should allegedly pick up grass. Yeah, there we go. Seems to be doing pretty good. I think this is a fantastic little little setup here. I mean, very expensive, so that's the only thing that's like, ah, I wish it was cheaper, but otherwise it's very cool. Very cool idea. I like that quite a bit. You can fold that back up. Now, if I go over here, I can disconnect just the trailer. I can get this out of the way. And then I can loop around here. Should be able to hook up. Oop, I didn't want to hop out of the tractor. I haven't played Farming Simulator in almost a week. Gotta get back used to the controls, even just to be able to drive. <laughs> All right, let's back this up into here. Oh boy, this is gonna be awful.
Well, once you actually do get it backed up, it should give you the option to hook up. There we go. I'll say hopefully it gives me the option too. And I believe you can't open the cover of that, so I'm a little concerned if you get it. You can get it without the roof, by the way. But I'm a little concerned if you don't have that option that you're going to be a little bit of trouble with it. But um, not that you can put a ton of stuff in there anyways. But yeah, pretty cool little setup, so I like that. But yeah, there you go. That's the Met Metz Joe Meta Q75 1360 Malta. All right, as we transition into placeables, this is the medium old cow shed with pasture. This is by Oweli Wisco TV, 10 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms found in the store, under placeables, under animal pens down at the very end. Medium old cow shed without pasture, 100,000 to buy, $30 a day maintenance, holds 13 cows. Let me take a look around. This is probably gonna be your milk trigger. Is that your cows right there? Yep. Open that up, you got some cows in here. Open this up. I'm assuming probably your feed and maybe your straw in here. We'll go back out here around here. Everything should open up just fine. I'm not sure where the water point is going to be on this. There's slurry there or where manure is going to be for that matter. That might, oh, one of these is probably water. One's probably food, but yeah, but there you go. Yeah, nice little nifty little cow pen there. So that's the medium old cow pasture or medium old cow shed without pasture. Next up, we have the French Workshop Pack. This is by Sphinx, 4.78 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms found in the store under miscellaneous right here. So we have the French Workshop, 9,500 to buy, $30 a day um, maintenance. Then we have the French Workshop with Pit, 14,500 to buy, $30 a day maintenance. So um, this, this one has the Pit, I believe. Not sure if you can, ooh, what is this here? Open. Ah, now there is water that is not in here because of this. It's because there's a constant water plane below um, this map. But that is very cool. So you go up to that and close her back up. Very cool. And you have your repair trigger there. And the other one should not have the pit. Yep, just a repair trigger in here. So fantastic. Those are very cool. Very cool. So there you go. That is the French workshop pack. Next, we have the Fence 2 Meters. This is by Xblaze GWX 2.10 megabytes to download. What is with the names today? And this is for all platforms. This is found under decoration. Uh, we have the Fence 2 Meters, $500 a day to buy and $1 day maintenance and the post, $100 to buy and $1 a day maintenance. So there it is. That is the fence right there. There you go. That is the Fence 2 Meters. Next up in our final mod for the day is the Agraz Billboards. This is by Zottlezoct, 4.87 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms found in the store under decoration past these two meter fences. A large illuminated billboard and the small billboard. So if that is illuminated, we gotta get, take a look at that maybe in a second, but um, I'm actually really curious to see here. Let's go ahead and move our time. Yeah, really cool, like that. Let's go back to regular daytime here now again for me. But there you go, and that's our final mod for the day. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.